हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल डिस्कस द स्कैपुला स्कैपुला इज वन ऑफ द अपर लिंब बोन व्हिच इज सिचुएटेड पोस्टेरोलैटरली इट इज द फ्लैट बोन बिफोर गोइंग इनटू द साइड डिटरमिनेशन जस्ट फोकस ऑन सम इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सटर्नल फीचर्स दिस इज द कोस्टल सरफेस दिस इज द डॉर्सल सरफेस डॉर्सल सरफेस सरफेस इज डिवाइडेड टू टू पार्ट बाय द स्पाइन और स्पाइनस प्रोसेस the lateral border this is the lateral border is thick this is the glenoid cavity which situated or directed laterally this process is known as the acromial process and this process is known as the coracoid process this is the left side of scapula because coracoid process and acromial process this is laterally directed glenoid cavity this glenoid cavity also directed laterally the lateral border is thick as compared to the medial border lateral border is thick as compared to the late medial border and the dorsal surface is divided into two parts by the spinous process so according to these external features this scapula is belong to the left side this scapula is belong to the left side external features of the scapula now scapula contains two surfaces this is the costal surface or anterior surface behind this is the dorsal surface or posterior surface posterior surface or dorsal surface is divided into two parts by the process this process is known as the spine or spinous process this is small part the small part is known as the supraspinous fossa and larger fossa is known as the infraspinous fossa this is the supraspinous fossa and this is the infraspinous fossa the anterior surface or costal surface this costal surface is contain a fossa or the fossa is known as the subscapularis fossa this fossa is known as the subscapularis fossa also contain three borders this is the superior border this border or upper border is the superior border this is the medial border this border is the medial border and this border is the lateral border so lateral border is thick as compared to the medial border this is the lateral border three angles this is the superior angle this angle is the superior angle this am angle is the inferior angle and this angle is the lateral angle or glenoid angle like three processes this is the acromial process this process is known as the acromial process this process is known as the coracoid process this process is known as the coracoid process and this is the spine or spinous process spinous process acromial process acromial process and coracoid process coracoid process is the example of atavastic epiphysis is a example of atavastic epiphysis this is the glenoid cavity glenoid cavity contain a surface that articulate with the head of humerus to form the shoulder joint this is the glenoid cavity which articulate with the head of humerus to form the shoulder joint abo glenoid cavity or abo part having the tubercle and this tubercle is known as the supra glenoid tubercle this tubercle is known as the supra glenoid tubercle and lower part having one tubercle this tubercle is known as the infra glenoid tubercle infra glenoid tubercle and supra glenoid tubercle okay so this is this facet for articulate with the clavicle to form the acromio clavicular joint which form the joint known as the acromio clavicular joint here on the spinous process one crest is present and this crest is known as the crest of spine this crest is known as the crest of spine now come to the attachment of the scapula on the costal surface or subscapularis fossa subscapularis muscle is originated from subscapularis muscle is originated from the subscapularis fossa on posterior surface or dorsal surface this is the supraspinous fossa from where supraspinous muscle is originated supraspinous fossa 
supraspinatus muscle is originated below that is the infraspinatus fossa from here infraspinatus muscle is originated infraspinatus muscle is originated from infraspinatus fossa along with the medial border of the scapula serratus anterior muscle is inserted or insertion of serratus anterior muscle on posterior surface or dorsal surface on the medial border above the spinous process that is the levator scapuli muscle is inserted below the spinous muscle middle of the scapula that is insertion of the rhomboidus minor muscle rhomboidus minor muscle and towards the inferior angle that is the rhomboidus major muscle is inserted along with the medial border of the dorsal surface levator scapuli rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major muscle are inserted on lateral side or lateral border on the upper part of lateral border teres minor muscle is originated teres minor muscle is originated origin of the teres minor muscle below the parts or towards the inferior angle teres major muscle is originated origin of the teres major muscle and lower part of inferior angle latissimus dorsi muscle is originated teres minor muscle teres major muscle and latissimus dorsi muscle the suprascapular artery which passes in between the teres minor muscle which passes in between the teres minor muscle that is the suprascapular artery circumflex suprascapular artery this is the supraglenoid tubercle on the supraglenoid tubercle origin of the long head of bicep origin of long head of bicep brachii muscle is originated from the supraglenoid tubercle on the infraglenoid tubercle long head of tricep brachii muscle is originated long head of tricep brachii muscle is originated from the infraglenoid tubercle this is the coracoid process on the coracoid process on the medial side coraco brachialis muscle is originated coraco brachialis muscle is originated on the lateral side short head of bicep brachii muscle is originated short head of bicep brachii muscle is originated on the superior surface of this coracoid process pectoralis minor muscle is inserted insertion of the pectoralis minor muscle this is the spinous process lower part lower border of the spinous process along with the lateral border of the acromial process origin of the deltoid muscle o deltoid muscle is originated lower border of the spinous process along with the lateral border of acromial process origin of deltoid muscle on the upper border of the spinous process insertion of trapezius muscle insertion of trapezius muscle this is the supra scapular notch where i to or attach with the transverse ligament so from the notch where supra scapular nerve is passes along with that supra scapular vessels are also pass this is the supra glenoid notch on the supra glenoid notch attachment of the supra glenoid ligament from where supra scapular artery and vessels are passes this is the acromial process along with the acromial process acromioclavicular ligament is attached and also acromiohumeral ligament is there this is the coracoid process on the coracoid process trapezoid part and coronoid part of the coracoclavicular ligament is there this is a ligament which attached to the scapula along with the glenoid labrum there is the capsule of the shoulder joint is attached this is the capsule of shoulder joint is attached scapula scapula ossified by one primary center and seven secondary centers one primary center for the glenoid cavity which appear at width of intrauterine line this is the one primary center for glenoid cavity of the scapula seven secondary centers seven secondary centers two for the acromial process to for the acromial process they are appear at the puberty 
and fuse at the 20 years of life one for the coracoid process which appear first years of life and fuse with the 15 years of life one for the below part of the coracoid process below part of the coracoid process which appear 10 years of life and fuses with the 16 to 18 weeks of the life one for the medial border and one for the inferior angle they appear at the puberty and fuse at the age of 25 years one for the below part of the glenoid cavity which appear at the puberty and fuse with the 25 years of the life this is all about the anatomy of the scapula if serratus anterior muscle get paralyzed in that condition medial border of the scapula is elevated and the medial border is more prominent so that this condition is known as the winging of scapula scaphoid scapula in this this is the developmental anomaly in this anomaly medial border is concave this medial border is concave so this is all about the scapula anatomy of the scapula thank you very much for watching this video thank you